I think the challenges for business today really fall into three categories. The pace of innovation and change and the risks that that may introduce, the compliance uh, and the need to, to meet those regulations, and then the third thing is, you know, the bad guy is trying to do something. IT security has, has been a challenge to businesses and it has been for a long time now, you know, since ever since technology evolved, IT security has been a threat, but more so now than it, what it was in the past. I've personally seen um, some cyber attacks which have destroyed um, large airlines in the UK, so their internal network and their online presence. The technology is moving at a very rapid pace, which means uh, you have the traditional systems, then you have IoT on top of it, then you have cloud on top of it, and then you have mobile on top of it. With all these things coming in, you have a whole lot more attack area to uh, basically worry about. I think there's two main reasons why customers seek out our help. Number one is probably be pursuit of best practice. They want their networks and applications to be secure. And then the second one is compliance because someone else has told them that they need to be secure. With social engineering, we'll try and break into buildings. We'll try and trick individuals into clicking on links and uh, accidentally deploying malware. Um, we'll pose as a help desk um, trying to fix somebody's machine. Um, we're all about trying to gain unauthorised access into areas where we have no business in being. The trend we're seeing is that businesses are moving more of their business online and more of their customer interaction online. Uh, release cycles are becoming shorter and as a result, security flaws get introduced more frequently. As an example, we tested a gambling application. The priority for the gaming company is to make sure they're protecting the revenues. We were able to manipulate the application to turn a millionth of a penny into a penny. Or in, in, in larger scale terms, every time we deposit a penny, we get £100,000. We did a recent piece of business where we, uh, uh, we created a social engineering campaign where we created a, uh, a phishing email um, that was designed to look exactly like an Amazon voucher. Um, this meant that individuals working for that business um, clicked on the link and we then got pivot into the network. We recently did a piece of work with a retailer and we went in to help them de-scope their environment and implement technologies that reduces the overall PCI journey for them. Recently we had a customer in, in America, uh, pretty big <laughs> as, as far as I can say, and uh, we found a gaping hole from one of their applications through which we were able to jump on from, uh, from the worldwide internet onto their internal network and actually get access to their payroll data of their staff. I mean, and that's just anonymously done over the internet and that's how bad it can get. And from there on, if we wanted or if a bad guy wanted, it could do a lot of damage. And that's the level of compromise which a typical breach can, can have. We've evolved our services to not only include that deep dive penetration testing engagement, but also constant security assurance that occurs 24-7 all year round. We've developed an advanced threat assessment um, which goes beyond business as usual pen testing to emulate these international state actors. One of the things that we've done recently, a new initiative, is to develop um, a managed security service around web application security. So where penetration tends to be one-off events, which is Timebox, this is a continual service which keeps pace with the dynamic nature of their web app security. With the new uh, paradigms that are opening up like DevSecOps and DevOps, we need people who not only understand development, not only understand administration, but also understand security. And that's where I think uh, we have a large skill shortage. We do security awareness training for standard staff members, so even if they're not in the IT team or technically minded, we can show them the normal risks that everyday people face. We are one of the major providers of training courses at Black Hat. Um, at uh, 2018 Las Vegas, which is Black Hat's premier event, we had uh, 600 people sign up for our range of courses. That gives you a scale of how popular we are. One of the big things with how we work is that we do security every day. With a lot of organizations, it'll be kind of a monthly compliance requirement or an annual kind of security test. So we do this all the time, and that's how we can help. Um, applications, whether they're in the cloud or not, um, introduce lots of complexity and vulnerability, and it's our job to go and fix that before the hackers exploit it. That's, that's what I am. I've always been into hacking and, uh, and everything connected to hacking.